Hello everyone. Ready to learn maths again? Great. But today we are not going to deal much with numbers. We are not going to calculate more. Why? Because today we are going to learn about shapes, symmetry and patterns. We are going to start with lesson 7. We are going to be a little creative today. So are you all ready? Let's begin. There are two types of curves. Open curves and closed curves. As you can see, open curves are the shapes that have open ends. Such figures start and end at different points. I hope you can observe the red end points in the given open curves. On the other hand, closed curves do not have any open ends. They are closed by line segments or curved lines. Kindly observe the given figures carefully to understand the closed curves properly. There are two types of closed curves. Simple closed curves and not simple closed curves. Closed curves in which boundaries do not cross each other are called simple closed curves. Look at the examples. Closed curves in which boundaries cross each other are not simple closed curves. I hope you can understand this through the given figures. Now there are various types of simple closed curves. The first one is simple closed curves made of line segments only. As you can observe in the given examples, these figures are made up of only straight line segments and the boundaries do not cross each other. Now let's talk about simple closed curves made of curved lines only. As you can observe in the given figures, they are closed and they do not have any straight lines. They are made up of curved lines only. Now the third one is simple closed curves made of both line segments and curved lines. Observe the given examples. These figures have straight lines as well as curved lines. Now can you draw some different examples of all the given types? Come on try and enjoy. Time for a quick test. Choose the correct option for the following objects. A kite is a simple closed curve, not simple closed curve or open curve. Come on observe the kite. Think and let me know. The correct answer is not simple closed curve because as you can see the boundaries of red part and yellow part are intersecting. So it is not a simple closed curve. Now let's have a look at the other example. The shape of a carom board. Is it a simple closed curve, not simple closed curve or open curve? Come on, tell me. Yes, it is a simple closed curve. None of its boundaries intersect each other. Now tell me, which kind of curve does a spring have? Correct, the answer is open curve. As you can see, the start and the end point of a spring are different. Now let us discuss some new terms. First of all, I'll discuss point with you. A point is a position on a plane surface. A point is usually denoted by a capital letter. Observe point A on the screen. Now let us discuss line. 
A line is a straight path which extends on both the sides endlessly. So, the length of a line can not be measured. I hope you can observe the arrows on both sides of line AB. The arrows denote that this line can extend on both the sides endlessly. Now let us learn about line segment. A part of line that is between two end points is called a line segment. A line segment has fixed length. It cannot be extended from any side. Observe the given line segment AB. Now let us talk about ray. A ray is a part of line that has one end point and extends in one direction without ending. This means a ray also does not have any fixed length. Observe the given ray AB. I hope you noticed the end point A and an arrow on the point B. Now let's start solving exercise 7.1. Identify the closed curves and open curves. Write C for closed curves and O for open curves. Let's observe the first one. As we can see, there are no two different endpoints in this fig figure. So this is a closed curve. We'll write C. Going to the next. Again, we do not have any two different endpoints. So we'll write C again. In the third one also, we can observe there are no two different endpoints. So closed curve again. And in the last one, we can see two different endpoints. Right? So this is an open curve. Let us go through some more examples. As we can see over here, we do not have any two separate endpoints. So again, this is a closed curve. But over here, we can observe two separate endpoints. So this is an open curve. So we'll write O. Over here again, can you find two separate endpoints? No. So we will write C for closed curve. And in the end, there are two separate endpoints. So this is open curve. Right? Now let us begin with the second heading. Categorize the following under suitable headings. Let us read the headings first. Closed shape with straight lines only. Closed shape with curved lines only. And closed shape with curved and straight lines. Now let us look at the first figure. This figure has a straight line in the bottom. And a curved line over here. So we will draw this figure under both curved and straight lines. Okay. Now moving to the next figure. As we can see there is no straight line. So this is a shape with curved line only. Great. Now, let us look at the next figure. Straight, 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 straight. No curved lines. So, this falls under the shape with straight lines only. Great. Now, let's move to the next one. This is the figure with straight lines again. No curved lines. So we'll draw this over here. Cool. Moving to the next one. Curved line, straight, curved, straight. So this figure has both.
curved as well as straight lines. Moving to the last one, only curved line. Easy, wasn't it? Great.